Hey, what is up guys? Apple Advance here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to download um, Provenance back again on your iOS 9.3.2, iOS 9.3.3, or lower. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you guys are going to enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe also. Now, for this video, I'm not sure which iOS 10 betas work, but I believe some of the iOS 10 betas do not work using the day trick because this is a permanent method and this permanent method um, won't work on um, certain betas now so this will and might work on your beta if you're on iOS 10 but um, if you're on a certain beta then this might not work so sorry about that if it doesn't work and that's why I don't recommend ever downloading betas and stuff like that because you never know what can happen with your phone and plus if you're doing stuff like this this is stuff you're doing like glitch wise so you know stuff like this I don't pretty sure it's not covered by your warranty or stuff like that so you know it's not jailbreak or anything but you know it's still one of those things like that's why I don't download betas and stuff like that but anyways guys let's begin with today's tutorial now this will work on certain iOS 10 betas and this will work on any device that will be able to do the date trick because this will be permanent now to begin you want to head over to Safari and I actually figured this out myself because I actually uh, found another method on YouTube and I applied that to different emulators and it turns out it works for this one so you just want to head over to iEmulators.com uh, the link to iEmulators will be in the description below you want to head over to apps you want to scroll down all the way until you can find Provenance, which is a, you know, Game Boy Advanced emulator. Can also emulate Super Nintendo, SNES, stuff like that. Anything really, uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, that's why I always recommend downloading and stuff like that. You just want to go ahead and click install once you find it. And it'll basically bring it to its own custom page. Um, but once you're on its custom page, um, it'll say it's back, but it's lying. Um, if you download it regularly, it won't work unless you use this trick. Now, I haven't seen any other bigger YouTubers other than me finding out this method, so I'm literally the only one who knows about this method right now. And um, as long as you know bigger YouTubers don't get a hold of this method, well, this method should stay in place and should never get really taken away or not working. Remember, this method is permanent. Um, but I remember um, syncing your Dropbox and stuff like that. So just go ahead and click install um, and then install Providence. Now I know the custom date to change your date to to actually make this work. So uh, you just want to go ahead and click install, okay? And um, I've already installed it, so I click cancel. So basically let Providence load up and actually what will happen is it will end up failing download. You want to go ahead and click retry when it comes up with a prompt asking you, um, you know, would you like to retry or would you just like to be done with it? Um, you just want to click retry and then quickly, quickly head over to settings, go to general, scroll down all the way until you can find date and time. Now I would show you guys this method, but sadly my recording software will not record things when I change my date back so therefore I wouldn't be able to show you guys anyways so basically I can really explain it to the best of my abilities which is turn off set automatically and change your date anywhere past 2008 now um, you had to make sure you click retry and then do this method right here so once you change your back to 2008 um, either it should already been downloaded all the way or it will still say waiting after you've already clicked retry now that's happened to me on multiple occasions and basically my tip for it is just to click on the emulator provenance once again and then it'll just automatically boot up to wherever it's been loading at so therefore if you have slow internet like of mine then it usually would just stay on waiting and it won't show how much it's been downloaded and usually for fast internet it'll either just be there as soon as you exit off of settings it'll already be downloaded or it will be already in the process of downloading it'll show you how much it is in the circle but if it isn't showing you how much it is in this you know circle showing you how much it's progressed so far click on the emulator and then in like a couple seconds or so then it'll blink back and it'll, it'll show you how much it's downloading and you'll just let it download all the way wait up and then it should pop up on your screen saying it's you know it's downloading and all so you just want to head over to settings again you know turn back set automatically but when you click on it you'll get a uh, you know prompt that says it's untrusted so for this you want to head over to settings general scroll down all the way to the five profiles and device management now on the iOS 10 betas this is device management so you just click on that scroll down all the way till you can find the one that belongs to the app now it's this one right here I've already trusted it to make sure that this app works and that's why um 
you know it's already uh, trusted and all but basically you just want to click trust um, where a delete app is at is actually trust for you guys it should be so just click trust it'll come up the prompt again saying would you like to trust it go ahead and confirm that and basically that's it you'll be able to play Providence once again on your iOS 9.3 device or lower if you guys want to enjoy the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up have already subscribed and this has been Apple Advanced and see you guys